Hi, Grace family. Jerry here. I'm one of your pastors and one of your elders. You know, one of the scriptures that's really been meaningful to me over the last couple of months has been Psalm 33. Let me just say the first five verses. Sing joyfully to the Lord, you righteous. It is fitting for the upright to praise him. Praise the Lord with a harp. Make music to him on the ten-string lyre. Sing to him a new song. Play skillfully and shout for joy. For the word of the Lord is right and true. He is faithful in all he does. The Lord loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of his unfailing love. You know, a couple of weeks before the pandemic started, I started journaling. I was doing this really uh, with the intention of getting in touch with my feelings a little bit more and using them as data for how God was trying to speak to me. And it's not really complex journaling. I just use four categories. What am I mad about? What am I sad about? What am I glad about? And what am I anxious about? So a couple weeks into the pandemic, I went back and looked at my journal and I realized I was really weighted on the what am I anxious about? I mean, really weighted. And there was plenty to be mad about as well, but really not a lot to be glad about. And what I realized and what God was showing me was that I was out of perspective. And so I started um, taking that to heart and started uh, really recording the things that I was glad about. And I know some of you do thankfulness journals, and this is a little bit like this. So I just started looking for what Psalm 33 says, the earth full of God's unfailing love. You know, it could be something like um, an iris along the road that I was running next to, or a conversation that he had with a good friend, or uh, God's provision in a certain way, or some unique thing that was going on at the church, or an opportunity to see God at work. But I just really started focusing on God's unfailing love. And, you know, when you start looking around and um, in spite of uh, the uncomfortableness of this situation and, and um, in spite of the sadness that a lot of us are encountering uh, with people that we know and love or passing away or struggles with work and those kinds of things, it really changed my perspective and really helped me to focus on God's unfailing love. Um, it's around us regardless of what's going on around us. Now, this didn't change um, what was happening. This didn't make it any um, easier to face some of the things that we've had to face. But it really helped me focus and really took to heart what this psalmist is saying. Hey, do this. Sing joyfully to the Lord, you righteous. It's the only thing that makes sense. And why? Because God's word is true. God is faithful and the earth is filled with his unfailing love. I hope that today, as you go about your day, you'll focus and look for some of the things that God is doing in your life. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.